Gianni Versace was shot and killed in front of his Ocean Drive mansion. When Gianni Versace was murdered on the steps of his South Beach mansion, uh, it was first of all unbelievable, and second of all, it was the kind of story where things were happening very quickly. We were the first to break the story uh, of the actual murder. It was, uh, it was the biggest story in the, in the country at the time. Tonight, fans are leaving flowers on Johnny Versace's front steps, replacing the blood left there earlier by a killer. I happened to be on Miami Beach uh, doing another story, and we were called uh, on the radio, get over to the Versace mansion, we think Johnny Versace's just been murdered. And we were just a few blocks away. We literally saw police chasing. We, we saw the sus, like the, what we believe was the suspect's vehicle. It happened so fast. We were at the crime scene at the Versace murder while they were taking his, his body, or the ambulance was on the way. So we were like right there, right when it happened. It was horrific. Versace was ambushed, shot twice in the back of the head as he walked back to his mansion from a newsstand carrying a bag of magazines. I needed to get there. And so as I made my way from Broward down to Dade over towards the beach, the police had already started closing off the main highway down towards his house. And I was like, I'm stuck. I'm about two and a half miles away. And I need to be there, not here. And I uh, saw a construction worker on his bicycle and I said, can you give me a ride on your bike down there? So I hopped on the handlebars of his bicycle with my kind of like briefcase and dangled my feet and down we went. The police were stopping cars. They were not stopping pedestrians and they certainly weren't stopping bicycles. So I made my way all the way down there. And WTVJ was there with a satellite truck, with a cameraman, but no reporter. So I got on camera and because of WTBJ, I immediately began reporting for the network on what had taken place here. And of course we know the chaos and the, the real fear that enveloped South Florida of a, a murderer on the loose in the community. There was chaos in the area. Police were just cordoning off the crime scene when we got there, so it had just happened. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the FBI confirmed what NBC6 first told you. Police have already narrowed their search to just one man, Andrew Cunanan. The FBI thinks he's a serial killer. Cunanan is known to be a male prostitute who services affluent clientele. Cunanan is well-educated, well-dressed, is very articulate. Nobody's safe in this. And that's the point we have to we have to get across. Don't think that because you, you're you're not gay that you're you're not a possible victim in this thing. Everybody's at risk. Everybody's got to help us put this guy in jail. There was a sense of almost terror in the community because nobody knew where this killer was. We knew he was hiding out somewhere, but nobody knew exactly who he was, what was happening. But it was it was an intense, intense period. The huge manhunt for Andrew Kananen is over. He is dead, and you're watching the station that broke the news to the world. We broke the story uh, when uh, Andrew Conanon was in the, uh, in the houseboat in front of the entire world. We had the exclusive. The reign of terror brought upon us by Andrew Conanon is over. One of the reasons we did is when all the other stations went off the air, Miami Beach was in gridlock. It was totally paralyzed by traffic. And I said, something's going on. I said, well, let's do the story as a traffic story. Stay on the air. The night that Andrew Conanon killed himself, um, we were, I was called to the scene, there was a houseboat that was cordoned off, um, there, were, there was rumors that he was there, we weren't sure what, what was going on. The moment I knew Andrew Cunanan was in that houseboat was when the director of the FBI showed up in a tuxedo because he was called from a black tie event. And then I said, well, he wouldn't be here if it wasn't the real deal. One thing is for sure, the world and South Florida is relieved that Conanna's nationwide nightmare is over. NBC6 broke the news that a man's body was found in the houseboat, a 40 caliber semi-automatic handgun nearby. And then when we saw the FBI director show up with a bow tie and a tuxedo, and two of our correspondents said, they've got it, we went on the air in front of the world. And for a while, nobody confirmed it. It's a very lonely moment when you're out there as an exclusive in front of the world and nobody's confirming it. And we were all sitting there, well, are we sure? And all of a sudden, UPI, AP, all the other stations came. And that was a great moment, celebratory moment at the station of great journalism and, and the courage to go for the story and go for broke.